Now then, if you think that it's difficult trying to sell your house in these unstable times, spare a thought uh, for those blighted with a brutal weed that can push through brick walls and break up driveways, ultimately wrecking the whole place. Christine Walkden has been to meet a couple who are suffering as a result. We just got engaged and saw this house. A four bedroom home, brand new, no, no, no DIY work for me to do. Fell in love with it. We want to start a family here. What Matt and Sue didn't realise was that something nasty was lurking deep under their house. We noticed uh, what looked like an asparagus tip really? coming through the, the ground. Yeah. Didn't look like a weed to me. Um, and how quickly it was growing, it, it, you know, we just knew it was something different. Fallopia japonica, otherwise known as Japanese knotweed, originates from Japan, where it's naturally controlled by fungi and insects not present here in Britain. The tiniest little fraction of the stem or the root can remain dormant for anything up to 20 years. Goodness me. You know, this is, you know, we're not dealing with just a little insidious weed. This is a real nasty. So it's running all down here. Yes, along the, the whole side of the house. This was around about two or three metres from the yeah. side. Yeah, well, it can, I mean, it can get three metres high quite easily. What did the council first say to you when, you know, you, you had them round? First of all, they sent an environmental specialist down. And the first thing he said to me, which was surprising, was, uh, this is a new build home, you need to get a solicitor. Blimey. Yeah. This is gravel, so it could run quite easily. Underneath here, there's, there's obviously concrete tarmac as well. It and just... you see, that's what people don't realise, because this is a weed that will actually grow through three to four inches of concrete or tarmac and coming up into your property. <laughs> And that's led to the weed shoving its way inside their house through the walls and floorboards. How did you both feel when you realised you've got a plant growing inside your house? You have these nightmares that you're going to have a Jack in the Beanstalk type plant growing through your bed because who has plants growing like that randomly in their house? Well, you don't. And the big trouble with this plant is it's not a normal garden weed. This is the terrorist of the weed world, you know, it's invasive and it will spread like mad. I mean, it can grow three inches in a day. And just how bad things are getting becomes horribly clear when the family's floorboards are taken up. Blimey, look at it! I mean, it's all along here and you can see it coming up here yeah, yeah. And, and right along there. Can I have a shifty? Of course you can, yeah. You can see the way it wraps itself around everything, doesn't it? Look yes. at that, yeah, that's yeah. a metre yeah. away from the, the actual foundations. It just worries me that it's taken a hold on our property. How do we get rid of it? That's, that's the thing. One is weed killer on a three to five year basis. Mm. The other is excavation. So you demolish the house, mm. you go down at least three to five metres yeah. and it is riddled out and then they return the soil. But, you know, hey, you don't want to demolish your house. I want to enjoy my house, I want to enjoy my, my toddlers up to be, you know. Yeah. We don't want this. You have got a massive, massive problem on your hands. And not an easy one to solve. Not an easy one to solve at all. Ooh. Our ice table is slowly melting, or quickly melting. Yes. <laughs> Seems to be a puddle, I think. But anyway, uh, Christine, is Japanese knotweed a problem in, in Japan? No, because there are natural insects and fungi there that control it. But they're not here in Britain. So it grows at rampageous rates and is practically everywhere. Could okay. they be introduced here though? Is that, is that a way of solving it, maybe? I don't know. There is hope by the environmental agency too, yeah. and there are licensed releases going on at the moment yeah. to look at the efficiency of releasing it into the wild. Okay. So there is hope on the horizon. Yeah. But the interesting thing is it won't eradicate it, it will just shrink it mm -hmm. and okay. keep it quite small. How yeah. would we recognise it though? It comes through the ground in the early spring looking very much like asparagus. Bright red as the leaf expands, uh, as the stem expands, the leaves unfold and they look shovel shaped. It grows anything to three to five inches a day. It can get up to three metres high, produces bright green foliage and sprays of creamy white flowers right. that are next to it. It looks like dead, dam dead bamboo. By October. Oh, yeah. How did it get there then in the first place? Often it's fly tipping, sometimes it's carried on clothing, fragments in the cleats of your feet, sometimes it's just um, yeah. movement, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> movement <laughs> by traffic. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, 
and the tiniest little bit, you just need a couple of centimetres, can remain dormant in the soil yeah. for up to 20 years. Mm. It was introduced because they thought it was nice, wasn't it's it? It's an ornamental. It's all horticulturalists have done Same it again. Same as a great squirrel. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, don't get me started on that. You know, we're uh, selling...